Just to retouch on, on the first family that's here in America, um, you, you mentioned Carberries and you even mentioned... Um, now the, the Rileys were born here. Rileys were born here. And the grandmothers and the grandfather were both born here. Okay. So okay. Do, you have, do you have any idea what town, what city? I think they were born in Joliet, but I'm, I'm not sure. I think they lived in Joliet all their life. What, what, were, their, what were their names, if you remember? Yeah, the, my grandfather's name uh, was John Riley, and he was a policeman. Okay. And my mother, my grandmother's name was Ellen Riley. Okay. And uh, her maiden name was McCarthy. McCarthy. Uh, Ellen McCarthy. Okay. Mary John Riley. I didn't really know the Rileys very well. Yeah. Uh, uh, my grandfather had passed away before I was born. Mm -hmm. I didn't know him at all. And my grandmother passed away when I was six or so, so I really didn't know her. They didn't pass down any stories or they didn't pass down any, any experiences? No, uh -uh. but my father did. Yeah. My father told me that, and I heard it from others in this family, that when he was a young boy he was driving a horse and buggy mm -hmm. and um, with his young uh, brother in it. His young brother's name was James, and uh, he was driving along the canal that divided Joliet between the east and the west side, and the horse bolted and jumped into the river, the canal. And he, he had another, uh, another sibling in there too. But anyway, the horse jumped in and he could only save one of them. And uh, he saved the, the littlest one, and he thought maybe James, who was three or four, I don't know. Anyway, the horse kicked James in the head, and he died. So that's why my brother was named James. Okay. And my, my father, who was driving the buggy, was just a young boy himself. I bet he was, in, he was probably 14 years old.